guys, so I hope you enjoy this look that I decided to do for you today. I did get the inspiration from another YouTuber. Um, her name is Luster Lux. I'm sure you guys follow her. If you don't, be sure to check her out. Um, I follow her on Instagram and all those pages as well. So I will link her page down below just because I did kind of get the inspiration from a look um, that she had posted on her Instagram page. Um, but she used the Melt um, Radioactive Stack. I just recently purchased this and she used the shade, um, what is this one? Xenon, that's the shade. It is this really pretty, just bright green. All of these shades are just really bright um, and really kind of great for spring or anything like that. I normally wouldn't go for these really bright shades, but I really loved how she did this look. Um, she also posted a video using this shade here, which is Radon, um, so be sure to check that one out on her channel. But I love the Melt Cosmetics. I have um, all of their nude lipsticks, their whole nude collection I have, and then I just purchased this stack, and I want to get some of the other stacks as well after trying this one. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is a little bit different than what I normally do. Um, I did do a cut crease, and then I went in with a blue in the waterline. I did use two lipsticks. Um, they are also by Melt. First, I went in with Sext, which is just a very pale nude um, pink. And then I went in with Nude, which is basically almost the same color. It's just a little bit darker. It's not so pink over the top kind of in the center to help give it a little bit of extra color just because this is so light on me and it almost um, blends in with my skin right now. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I don't know if it's just me, but I kind of feel like my eyes almost look blue after doing this look, and they are not. They are green. So it may be just in the video. I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this look. Please don't forget to subscribe if you do. Please don't forget to hit that like button down below and check back every Tuesday and Thursday. I'll see you next time. Hey, guys. So today I'm going in with some tape to set off this eye look. I am using electrical tape. I probably wouldn't recommend this, but it actually worked pretty well for me. I'm going to be using a gel liner by um, Morphe, and I'm going to be putting this in where I want my cut crease to be. I decided to use this technique. Um, I don't know that I would ever use it again, just because I had to blend so much. I felt like I was trying to blend this line out for like 30 minutes. It probably wasn't that long, but it felt like it. But I'm just taking this line with the liner. Um, you could probably use a cream eyeshadow as well. It might work a little bit better, easy for blending. But I'm just using that with a liner brush and putting that where I want that crease. Then I'm going in with my Morphe 35 in palette. And I'm going to be using this um, orange shade here with just a pencil brush. And I'm going to be using this to apply it to that crease area and blend out that line as well. And like I said, this took a lot of blending, um, so I'm actually switching brushes here and going in with one of my Artiste Circle brushes. I believe that's the 1R. That way it helps. It's a little bit more um, dense, so it kind of helped blend that line a bit a little bit better. And then I'm going in with a little bit more of an orange shade um, and using just a blending brush and blending that crease area out, bringing those two shades together. And then here I'm going in with the Morphe palette again with a light shade in there that's on the top row and just applying that today as my brow highlight. Then I'm going in with the same palette again and using just a kind of a dark taupe gray shadow and I'm going to be using this to help blend that eyeliner out again as well again with that pencil brush and this is where I felt like I blended for almost 30 minutes it probably wasn't that long but it seemed like a really long time so I did cut some of this out um, I did try and leave almost all of this eye look in here without speeding it up that way you guys could see each step and here you can really see where that line is starting to kind of blend and look more like um, a smudge line which is how I was wanting it in the first place so next time I'll probably just end up using like a black eyeliner, or um, not eyeliner, eyeshadow instead. And then I'm going in with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and just applying this to my lid where I'm going to be applying the green Xenon shade from the Melt um, Radioactive Stack. 
And here's that beautiful green um, neon shade and it's xenon once again. And then I'm just gonna be packing this on to my lid. I wanna make sure that it's very full coverage and just making sure that there's no um, lid color coming through. And then here I'm kind of applying it on the inner corner of the eye, trying to blend it in with that darker shade. That way there's no harsh line um, going from one to the other. And then here you can see when you take off the tape, you have a nice clean line. And this also really helped for doing a wing liner. It was so easy to do. Normally I have a little bit of a problem getting it exactly where I wanted, but as you can see here, I just went directly along the line because it was already made for me. So using tape can really help. Um, if you don't want to use tape, you can also use like this edge of a credit card or anything with a sharp edge will work as well. And here I'm just going to be doing your normal wing liner. And I'm using the felt tip pen. Um, this is by Made You Look Night Owl Liner. And I'm also gonna be applying lashes today, so I'm going in and making sure that I curl those first. And the lashes I'm gonna be applying are my Coco Lashes by Coco Lashes. And then I'm gonna first be applying some of the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. And then here I'm going in with my NYX HD concealer and applying that under my eyes and anywhere that I need a little bit of coverage. I must be using it to apply a few blemishes that I have. And then just going in with a beauty blender and blending that all out. And here I have my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, and I'm gonna be using this today, applying it all over my face. And I'll have all the links below for these products, so if you want to purchase them or find more about them, I will have them down below. And I'm just blending this out with a beauty blender all over my face, making sure it's even. Another way I like to apply this foundation is with my RT, Artiste brush, the Circle 8 brush, or the Oval 8, I'm sorry, it's the Oval 8 brush. Then here I'm going in with my RCMA No Color Powder, and I'm just gonna be applying this on the areas um, to set my face where I applied my concealer, and any areas that might get a little bit more oily throughout the day. Um, normally I don't have oily skin at all, but sometimes throughout the summer, around the corners when my nose get a little bit more oily than they normally would. And then I'm gonna leave the part under my eyes to bake and move on to my bronzer. And I'm using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and applying this on my forehead. And I'm gonna be applying it um, as a bronzer slash contour today on my cheeks as well. And then I'm going in and removing that um, no color powder. You always want to remember to remove your baking powder or it'll be stark white. Then I'm going in with some Makeup Geek um, Blush in Bliss. I'm going to be applying these to the tops of my cheekbones. This is just a really light, um, pretty, I think, especially for springtime blush. Just a really nice, light, peachy color. Then I'm going in with the um, highlight today. Thank you. 
Then I'm going in with these two shades that I used on my lid. I'm going to be applying these under my eye area today. And I do apologize. I noticed afterwards my camera had stopped recording recording on me. It's so annoying. Um, but I did use those two shades there on the bottom lash line. And then I used the darker shade that I used in my crease. And then I used a really um, bright blue in my waterline. And then I'm going in here with that green shade, Xenon, and just applying that on the inner corner of my eyes. Then I'm going in with my Melt Cosmetics lipstick, and this is um, the shade Sext, and I'm gonna be applying this to my lips. I'm also gonna be applying the shade Nude today, just to give it a little bit more color, because this shade is so close to my skin tone, it seems like, because I'm so pale right now. And there's that shade there. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you did. And also be sure to check back every Tuesday and Thursday. And I hope you guys enjoyed this look and this video. I'll see you next time.